It's just coming up to a quarter past six, and in a bid to win your vote in the EU referendum, which is now only 15 days away, David Cameron and Nigel Farage faced a grilling last night on ITV from a live audience. Things got a little bit frosty when uh, some of the audience, two of them are with us here now, got stuck in to our leaders. But before we chat to them, let's see what they had to ask Nigel Farage. I work in the pharmaceutical industry with multinationals who are worth billions to our economy. They're here because we're in the EU. Do you think our independence is going to risk thousands of jobs and billions of annual income to our economy? Well, I don't buy the fact that a pharmaceutical company is in Britain because we're in the EU. And They're in Britain because they want to be in Britain. I'm going to interrupt you there. And there are lots Some of reasons for doing that. Some operations can only be done in the EU. I can't do my job in Switzerland, so I can't review some EU products and live in Switzerland. You have to be in the EU, and that's why they have EU headquarters in the UK, yeah. which makes it worth 32.4 billion a year. I have to say, Aaron, you, you asked a very you know, good question, which I think slightly rattled him, because you were able to come back at him mm. about the reality of doing business with the EU. Yes. Just very quickly, tell me about what your, your job is, your situation, and why it mattered to you to ask that question. Well, I run my own consultancy for the pharmaceutical industry. Now, I've been working in the industry for over 10 years. Um, I've been a, I was a biochemist. I grew into different pharmaceutical companies. And what you realize is the UK is a hub for the healthcare sector, whether it's in biotechnology or pharmaceuticals. Now, the European Medicines Agency, which reviews things for all of Europe, is in London. It's not in Brussels. It's not us listening to Brussels. It's reviewed in um, London. Now, Pharma companies from outside of the U e European Union will have their EU headquarters in the UK because it's more convenient. So you've got places in like Surrey, Windlesham, uh, High Wycombe, all. So if we left, do we lose in three that? weeks' time? How does that? Do you, do you fear? How does that impact your business? Well, at this point in time, you have seen a slowdown in European-based contracts to do with European drugs because you don't know if you're giving it to a European-based consultancy. Um, if they're going to be able to do it in a year or two years' time. So it's already having an impact, the yes, uncertainty. there is a slowdown in well, that. that's the uncertainty. uncertainty. If there was yes. suddenly finality and we were severed from the European Union in an economic sense, how do you think it would impact on you? I mean, negatively, well, do you know that? aspects would definitely have to leave. So the European Medicines Agency couldn't be based in London if we're not part of Europe. Where are they going to move to? They're going to move to Frankfurt and they're going to move to Dublin. Mm -hmm. Are they going to move to Edinburgh, Scotland, leave the UK does and then join... Does it matter where they are, though? Uh, yes, it does, because you have to be inside uh, the EU. You can't be in Switzerland. Yeah, but does it, does it matter to your business yes, where they does. put the headquarters? Yes, it does. So you'll be voting, presumably, yes, to remain? In. I Imriel, have you made up your I'm mind? I'm actually completely undecided. Um, I still feel like neither party, neither person. David was pretty disappointing with his question answering. So I'm actually still fairly undecided on that. Let me talk to Nigel Farage a little bit later. What yeah. would you like to ask him? I'll, I'll do it for you. I'll be the other Morgan mm. in this operation, <laughs> the, the tag team Morgan. I would actually just like him to listen to what I asked and answer that question. Mm. Like, how are you going to safeguard non-white British people from potential discrimination? I'm going to get that answer for you, Thank yeah. you. Emeril. So don't you worry. <laughs> Both of you, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, well done, last night. I so thought it was much. two very good contributions yeah. to that debate. It's feisty. Thank you. Uh, it's